This is your story here. Scientists invent artificial skin that can feel pain. This is a very exciting, interesting development here. Uh, specifically, first and foremost, for prosthetics. You can imagine, Will, the feeling is gone in the extremity if you are if you lose the extremity or whatever, and then you get the prosthetic, and the prosthetic is somewhat limited. Even there's some new high-tech ones that you can move some things around, grasp things. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, touch or the sensation of touch, it gives you a lot more control, feedback, instantaneous feedback. So uh, these scientists, they did this artificial skin, which uh, apparently is, an, is a better alternative to skin grafts and can improve prosthetics. It will augment or compensate human skin for the development of realistic humanoids. Oh, yeah, that's the other part. You could also have better cyborgs because if the robot can, can feel, uh, you know, we had the spot robot over here. Not, it's not feeling anything. Mm. So... If it could feel, maybe if it's walking into the flames, it's like, ouch. Yeah. I don't want to destroy myself like that. Uh -huh. Or if it falls down, it's like, oh, that. Yeah. Well, that's a weird concept. The idea of pain, digital pain, robotic pain. Yeah. Cyborg pain. Because all of a sudden now, the cyborg has the artificial skin with the feedback and all of a sudden Willie Do is rude and kicks the cyborg, smacks or whatever, punch buggy, and the cyborg's like, mm, I didn't like that so much. Death. Cyborg. Will. Cy Cy no, at first it's oh. it's gentle. At first it's like, Will, I didn't like that very much. Like Dave? Yeah. I didn't or, uh, I didn't enjoy uh, that, Will. Uh, yeah. I didn't enjoy that very much, Will. And you're like, shut up. I double down? Yeah, you double down. Oh, okay. You double down because you're a tyrant. Uh huh. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, yeah, but sensory stuff, it's in play all the time. Skin is our body's largest sensory organ. We feel hot. We feel cold. We can feel pressure. You, you, take, you, you, you take it for granted, obviously. If it's there, it's very subtle. You can do a lot because of touch. And, and so the artificial version of it is obviously exciting. Uh, they're, this thing is incredibly thin. They think they're going to be able to stretch the material. It can respond to changes in temperature and pressure. It's extremely. They can do an extremely thin coating, a thousand times thinner than a single human hair. It's incredible stuff. So you got to love the scientists. They're doing the work. They're putting the stuff out, and there's a number of applications. So even if you're afraid of the futuristic cyborgs, you could at least be using this technology to help people with the prosthetics and to improve the feedback that they're getting through those uh, devices and things like that. So shout out to science. Shout out.